Creator of copy and paste command, Larry Tiesler, dies aged 74, scientist copied the printing technique of physically cutting and gluing printed text tributes have been paid to Larry Tiesler, the computer scientist who introduced the cut, copy and paste commands, after his death at age 74. The Stanford University graduate, who was a pioneer of early computing, died on Monday in San Francisco. He worked for blue-chip firms including Apple, Amazon and Yahoo. Tiesler appropriately began his Silicon Valley career at photocopying company Xerox's Palo Alto Research Center, Park, before being recruited by Apple's founder, Steve Jobs. Xerox wrote on Twitter. The inventor of cut copy and paste, find and replace, and more, was former Xerox researcher Larry Tiesler. Your workday is easier thanks to his revolutionary ideas. Tiesler worked at Apple for 17 years and rose through the ranks to become chief scientist. The scientist was born in the Bronx, New York, in 1945, and worked in the genesis stage of computers in the 1960s, aiming to make them more accessible and intuitive. He specialized in user interface design, and is most famous for devising the cut and paste command alongside his colleague Tim Mott at Park. That updated the old method of editing in which people would physically cut portions of printed text and glue them elsewhere. The command was incorporated into Apple's software on the Lisa computer in 1983 and on the original Macintosh the following year. A young Jobs visited Park in 1974 and was shown around by Tiesler. The scientist showed the future Apple boss the firm's prototype Alto personal computer and moved the cursor across the screen with the aid of a mouse. Whereas directing a computer had previously meant typing a command on the keyboard, Tiesler just clicked on one of the icons on the screen. He recalled. Steve started jumping around the room, shouting, why aren't you doing anything with this? This is the greatest thing. This is revolutionary. He also introduced a scroll bar on the Macintosh computer.